Good morning, friends. Happy Wednesday. I am um, starting a little late, so this is going to be a quick one. So um, we have some people that need to make up some stuff. Remember, we're writing two super sentences. Two. You write one sentence, and then after you write that sentence, you're going to write another sentence. So we still have some friends who um, I can tell aren't listening to the morning message and aren't listening to, um, aren't reading the directions. So you're writing two sentences. So these people owe me an extra sentence. Um, we did great. Everybody did the discussion that's doing their work. Um, and Dreambox, we have a couple friends that have been holding off, like 2, 10, 13, 18. Um, so I'm going to be sending messages home today for those people that haven't done anything. So when you log into Dreambox, um, you could be logged in, but you have to complete lessons. So I just want to give you an a idea. So right here, um, Tinsley was on for 19 minutes, but there was no lessons done. So that doesn't count, okay? Um, and the 19 minutes doesn't count either. So you want to make sure that you're putting it in. Um, wow. Jamar. Way to go, Jamar. Jamar made up. He was away last week. He was at his grandmom's house. So he made up a lot of time. Jamar, I'm super impressed. Look how many lessons. 36 lessons you um, completed yesterday. Fantastic. Kudos to you. While I'm in here, let's go here. Faith made up a couple, uh, an hour of her time last week. Nice job, Faith. She did 17 lessons yesterday. Tarnia, nice job, four lessons. And you went up in four standards. Faith went up in eight standards. Wow, super impressed. Kaylee did five lessons and progressed in five standards. So notice, you guys are doing an awesome job. So those of you who didn't log in yesterday, just make sure you're logging in today and making up that time, all right? Um, go back to my to-do. All right, so yeah, so just take another look, find your number, make sure you fix it. If you already fixed it from yesterday and I didn't see it, please um, message me. Okay, so that way I know to go back in and look. And today's lessons. Today is Wednesday. Guys, we only have three days this week, five days next week, and as long as you're caught up, you guys are good to go. Now, I am, this is possible change because I, I gave you a choice to answer. So you're writing two super sentences. Write a super sentence for two of the vocabulary words. Now, here's the thing. If you're putting two words in one sentence, it doesn't matter. Let me edit that again. Um, I'm going to edit right now. You need to write two sentences, right? Okay. Words were, and there they are. Save the changes. We can go in here and see. I don't think anybody's really done it yet. Let's look. And Cheyenne has done it. All right, and then let's go because I'm thinking, I'm hoping. A lot of you are not writing details from the text. And if I go to yesterday's lesson, let's refresh this and see. Hi, Hi, 23 guys. views. Happy Yay. Tuesday. Today's June Yay. 2nd. 23 views. Beautiful job, guys. All right. So what does the author mean when she says that anyone who expects perfect to stick around is a moron? I think that's a great question because um, can everything be perfect all the time? No. Right? Plus, we know from math, our synapses grow the fires start going in our brain by making mistakes. So nothing can ever be perfect, right? So you can't expect it to be perfect all the time. Um, so that's more of a um, you explaining it and give me details to explain what you're thinking, right? And how has the information about, or you could answer, um, you can answer one or the other, okay? So I need to edit this because how has the new information about Susan James affected Derek's mom? She's changed a lot in this chapter, right? So how has that changed? Or how has she changed? So you can answer either one of those questions. It's an or, so I'll make that nice and big so you can see that. It's one or the other, you have your chance, right? But I want you to use races. Now, um, 
If you're using races to answer something with your own information, where do you get the details? Yeah, you get the citing from your head. Where do you get the explain? Yeah, you get the explain from your head, right? So you have an answer to, um, you can answer either one of those questions today. Um, but Derek's mom definitely, there's a few examples in this, in this chapter about how she's different on vacation. Give you a little hint, she's enjoying herself a lot more, but you've got to give me the specific details. Now let's look at some of these answers. All right. Um, she was crying in the first chapter yesterday because when she told, passed away, also when the authors, anyone expects perfect, stick around as a moron. Oh, so Cheyenne answered both. Um, Jackson, just one. See, I'm sorry, I got up late, guys. All right, just one. All right, um, and I'll put the link in here for him. All right, so you're just answering one, right? And it should be about two or three sentences, right? Your answer should be about two or three sentences. Any fourth grade answer should be about two or three sentences. All right, these are written response. So I'm giving you a half a point if you didn't write the full out, okay? And I hope you have a great Wednesday. Um, week and a half left, guys. We can do this, right? Keep going. Keep doing your best. And I will see you tomorrow.